guys, this is my Axial SMT10 Max D upgrade video. See my friend Steve OD's just got one of these. I've done quite a few upgrades to this, so I just thought I'd do this as much so as Steve O could see what work I've done on the car as uh, you guys out there. Also seen uh, Tony from CCX RC's video of uh, his, which inspired me to get this off the shelf, dust it down, and uh, give it a bit of TLC. Anyway, I'm going to show you what mods I've done and what ones I think work well, what ones I'd like to do, and what ones haven't worked quite so well. Anyway guys, before I talk through the mods, I would also just say, got a little Monster Jam session at the end of this video, where I take it out and take out some frustrations on a car I've been having a few issues with for a little while, so you might want to check that out at the end of the video. And also then you can see how these mods do in the real world. And as ever guys, if you like this stuff, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, let me get the camera down, show you around. And I would say guys, if anybody likes this, and wants to get one of these, and you see one in the store, buy it, because they're no longer making this model in production. Uh, it comes with lots of extra little spikes because, as I said to Steve-O, they don't snap off, but they do tend to wear down rather badly when you uh, flip it over. Anyway, I thought with the body off might be a little bit easier to show you the mods that I've done to the thing. Okay, turning it right over to uh, start with. I've got the MIP heavy duty drive shafts in here. To start with, I had integer ones in here, but under 3S power, managed to blow uh, both of the uh, integer ones on separate days, so I'm not too impressed with uh, with their supposed to be extra heavy duty ones on it. Uh, so I fit the MIP ones; they've been absolutely bulletproof. What would be my next replacement? You can see part of the problem here: the screws on the bottom keep coming out of the uh, the this the gearbox mounts on the underside of this plate. So my next mod is going to be to get an aluminum one of these. That's the first thing I would recommend to anybody if you're going to be fitting a brushless setup on it. I've got the original brush motor uh, back in at the minute, but anybody going brushless power, the thing just seems to become vibrate loose from this uh, metal plate. Anyway, moving on to the back, when I was doing some how should we say, child friendly things with it in the garden. Um, I managed to bust the rear axle completely on here, so I've got an extra speed uh, alloy diff housing. Seeing that one in the back here reminds me also I need to get one on the front before I uh, do the same thing at the front. A future upgrades will be also get the metal end caps, or for want of a better word, on there. What you can't see is I've the faster differentials, both front and rear. You don't actually have to fit the same front and rear uh, if you read the actual SMT manual, but I chose to uh, do so for the interest of uh, keeping stability. Hope that makes sense. Now another bit you can't see fitted in here is the axial steel gear, is the axial uh, steel gears that are fitted throughout the uh, the car. Because when I went brushless, I knew that was one of the first things that was going to be uh, subject to a lot of pressure on it. I ran this car on 3S, then 4S. I even tried it on 6S. On 4S, it was generating that much power. The he the the axle was turning, and sh the tires were getting so much grip. The axle was shredding the hexes in here, and I had to ended up buying four new tires for it. Very, very expensive, so not recommended. So I wouldn't recommend going overboard with the power on there. And lastly, the hot racing links on here. One of the first things I would recommend, and they've got the carbon arms on the inside as well. That is one of the first things I would recommend, because that was the first thing that started to break as soon as I started to put it under some power. And another upgrade I've got at the back here, I fitted the uh, hot racing rated sway bar on the back. Um, makes a little bit of difference to the handling of the car, but it does look nice and blends in with all the rest of the orange stuff as well. Future upgrades, probably consider upgrading the shocks. Might put a brush to set up back in there, but maybe something that will run, maybe a kind of low power setup, something that just took a 2S pack in there to uh, give it a bit of speed. Because it's got plenty of punch, and I found it was a bit too aggressive on 3S. Anyway, next steps. Probably to upgrade the shocks. I'll be open to anybody's advice on that. And my next up, one of my next upgrades, I'm considering getting rid of the diffs and putting a lock diff, certainly at least on the uh, back on there, and seeing what a difference that makes to the thing. Because although it's made by Axel, it's not strictly speaking a crawler. It is a monster truck. Speaking of which, let me get the body on, take it outside. It's got a little project I've been working on. There's something that's been annoying me for a while. I need to get out my system. So check this out. It's my Axel SMT10 Max D, as you're about to see in this video, he's been on a little destruction mission with the JJRC Speedrunner, which unbelievably, you cannot, they will not, unbelievably, I cannot get a replacement ESC for, meaning the car is total junk, so Max D is going to do what it does best and take care of the garbage. Hey, a bit of a run up. Oh, Max D, you let me down.
You can tell I'm having a bored day. Oh. You have to bear in mind, this is on a crawl, or I've had it up to about 40 miles an hour. Oh, nice one, Max. Oh. Well, I think we can safely say Max D has won the argument on there. We didn't manage to do the backflip challenge, bit disappointed on that, but we have managed to make very short work of the JJ RC Speedrunner car, which I've got. The ESC is broken, you cannot get the ESC for the car anymore, so it's joined the Max D Scrap Heap. Thanks very much for that one, Max. Put that to best, and I feel so much better for doing this. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the circle image to subscribe. And if you hit subscribe, then don't forget to hit that little notifications bell next to